All right, guys. Guys, I've been sharpening my stuff, my angle grinder. Um, you know, I've been sharpening some whoppers, you know. Sharpen that. Um, I'm going to sharpen my 12-inch whoppers, which I have no idea where they just went. Oh, yeah, they're right here. We can go do some sharp cutting. We got, without warning, there's a thunderstorm coming. Another severe pop-up storm, like literally. So, we're going to try to get everything kind of cleaned up so in case we can just run to the garage. So, it's going to be in about 10 minutes or so. From what it looks like. And, um, anyway, so you know guys, I've been sharpening blades for about... Let me look on my deal. You may not fight killer robots, but a crappy toddler can be a formidable foe. For about... Hey guys, uh, so I was turning this on and it drained the power out of the shed, so the radio cut off, and it, my radio set back to 12 o'clock, so it's, I've been doing it for like roughly 13 minutes, um, sharpening, and I've been over here working, and I get done, I look over here, and it's blue. And it kind of is blue right now over there. Um, so this one, it shouldn't last long, but it's a quick little sell, but... Oh, there's half to see. Deck season rolls around every year. Staining your deck shouldn't. That's why the Home Depot now carries number one rated Olympic stains, including Olympic Max for only thirty-three ninety-eight a gallon. It's a great trust for over two years. Two things, and that's it on there. So do it right with Olympic, and next year you won't have to do it at all. Olympic stain for the first time at the Home Depot. More saving, more doing. Number one rated for independent consumer site. Plus only six dollars for details. If you're over 50 and struggling to find full-time work, we can help. It's time to regain the confidence to compete now for it's a little bit of a closer, but mm, it's still pretty dark over there. Anyways, let's go see how this cuts. Um, it should cut a lot better. I'm on this finer stuff, so we're going to see. And it's pouring down, guys. can see that, can't you?
already. That's not one anymore. There's another car. There's another truck getting out over here on my neighbor's property. So I don't know if you can get it on the camera. So that's why I heard going away. That's cutting pretty good. These get here right here. Anyway, so. George straight. Dang, go, man. Guys, it is white underneath these clouds, man. So, HC-152. I can't figure out why this thing keeps, uh, I just can't figure out why it keeps Peter, you know, it didn't want to go. Guys, what do you think on this? So we get it fixed. And then it seizes, you know, the blades stop. They jam up. Um, I'm just sitting on the ground looking at this. So, in y'all's opinion, do y'all think I should call Echo? Let me know down in the comments and see if I can get a free unit. Because I know how to talk to these. I think I'll know how to talk to them. Because this unit here... Um, this unit here was good for a couple hours, and it's not too good. And I mentioned we've never had any trouble with any Echo unit. I've never really ever have. You, know, you just get occasional car rear, clogged up when it's close rain. But I really don't know. It is so frustrating, though, how this is going um, with this unit. And I just never had so much trouble with an Echo unit. Um, I've never had this much issues ever. Um, and the issues is with the blades, they keep jamming up. The engine on it has a good amount of power for what we have to do everything on it's good it's light it's pretty good and lightweight it's got a good amount of power but the blades jam up all the time and then sometimes I'll fix it and then it, I'll get it going for a while and it's you know doesn't work after that and I try what I did you know loosen and tighten stuff up and blow what some of the things the internet says and um, I might email the, I might email Echo and just see how to or contact them somehow in some way. Um, this is frustrating as crap because, it, guys, I've been having to do everything with my 12 inch loppers there. They might be a little shorter than that, but man, it's frustrating. Anyways, um, I guess that uh, we'll see y'all later. Uh, if any of y'all have had trouble with these HC-152 units, I'd recommend calling Echo or contacting them in some way, shape, or form, which is actually what I'm going to try to do. Um... So I just really want to see about that. <sighs> so, anyways, 
These are great machines. It's the only product I've ever had problems with. Um, my dad and I both have problems with this unit, so I've only had it for two years, so it's frustrating. Anyways, guys, we will see y'all later. And uh, that rain is coming pretty quick, and I'm feeling a cooler breeze, so it feels good. But anyways, we will see y'all later. Anyways, bye.